So now, Ben, I was talking to TJ this morning, and you know, we had all talked about, hey, there's certain levels we want to enter in on the market when we hit certain levels, but we drop so quickly. Personally, I'm kind of changing my strategy. Was there anything about the speed in which we went down that maybe changes your strategy on, you know, when is a or perhaps a good entry point for to start accumulating at the beginning of a bear market? Uh, well, this is not, you know, beginning. Actually, you know, the funny thing is, is once you once you get to the lowest part, that's the end. You know, yeah. so when you're in yeah, the depths, true. that's actually the end of the bear market. So. Look, you always have to, we talk about this a lot on the channel. You always have to weigh your risk versus reward, okay? So I think the risk versus reward ratio of scaling in right now is good. I think that the risk of the price not going any lower and bouncing back up, I think that risk is higher um, or excuse me, is lower than the reward of being able to, you know, get in at these prices, even if it goes to, does go down a little bit more. I, I think that from where we're at right now, we were looking at ranges between 24,500 and 27,500 being the bottom, and we hit it in a day, right? So we've had to readjust on where we think it's going. Worst case scenario, in my opinion, it goes down to $10,300, but I just can't, that's an 85% drawdown from the top. 85% drawdown, average bear market drawdown. We are exactly to the day on schedule for an 85% drop, according to the last, uh, you know, historical bear cycles. So now we weren't, we were way ahead of it until yesterday. And so now that we, or until a couple of days ago, now that we have, this has moved very quickly. I, I think that, um, you know, the levels to look at here scaling in at are scaling in now. Scaling in around $25,000, scaling in around $22,000, and then anything below that, I mean, that's that's free money. The other thing about it like this, if you're scaling in right now, like where Bitcoin's at, let's just say 30K, I don't know what it's at now, 28, who knows. But wherever it is right now, let's just say it's approximately $30,000. Well, for if you buy right now and the, and the price goes up back up to $100,000 at some point in the next cycle, which I think is very reasonable. It's not even a two X from the last cycle. Then you made seventy thousand dollars, right? If the price goes lower and you keep ten thousand dollars aside, let's say it does go to ten thousand, and look, you keep ten thousand and you put it in ten thousand. If it hits that, now it goes to one hundred k. You made ninety thousand dollars. So the lower the price goes, the more high the return is. So you can be riskier. You you can set aside a smaller allotment for the lowest possible price point because it's got the highest return on it, if that makes sense. So right now where you're at, you should not be allocate. You should be allocating, in my opinion, decent amounts of what you've had set on the sideline at these price points, but keep smaller allotments. If the price goes down, you just, in, you know, infuse that into your portfolio.